Good afternoon. Good afternoon. I'm Harold McAleer, a volunteer here with the Council on Aging, and a self-appointed nature photographer in Lincoln. And I'm showing off some of my results on that side of the room. So you're going to have to turn your attention from here to, I'll begin at the side, and then I'll walk up the back and answer questions as I go. I will sneak in there. This is John's wife, and that's my wife with the camera. <laughs> All right. Most of these photographs I showed earlier I showed where I live. If you look at this map up on the wall, down on the lower left hand edge, you'll see Farrah Pond. Put your finger up there, Abba. See that big pond? Yes. Yeah, that's Farrah Pond, and at the left-hand end of it, there's a spillway where the water goes into the Sudbury River. Mm -hmm. And if you'll drop your hand a little bit, Abla, move it to the left, go up a bit, that's my house. <laughs> <laughs> so that's where Shirley and I live, on the river, and separated from the pond by uh, conservation land. Shirley walks the pond trail every morning, bright and early, early anyway. <laughs> Little spillage, no problem. Pardon the inconvenience. All right, I, I didn't realize they have a, you know, Federal Pond has a train around it to walk. Yeah, trail, trail, so conservation trail. Like not, not all the way around. Oh, not the, all the way. Around. The southern edge has a conservation trail. Okay. The northern edge is private property. Exactly. That's and right. this is a pond. Good job, James. It's not a natural pond. It's a flooded meadow. So the people who live on that north side actually own pond bottom. So their acreage includes stuff that is now underwater. It was flooded about a hundred years ago. Anyway, let's look at some of the pictures. Uh, I don't know if you can see it, but the, the one above October Frost Head, many of you drive over that. That's Lee's Bridge as it goes from Lincoln into Concord. And from our position where she showed you the house was, we can see that but it's a long distance away. And fortunately, the camera that Shirley is holding has a big zoom. So we're about a three quarters of a mile away from that, but we can sit on our back deck on a good day and the zoom lens will pick it up and then I can crop it in the computer. How did the light get so pink? <laughs> that was a uh, day's end. The sun yeah, is coming sunset. down, it's not quite so sunset. Pretty. And the lighting happened to be pretty good. Beautiful. Yeah. I've only taken, I don't know, two or three thousand <laughs> pictures of, <laughs> of that bridge. And every once in a while you get a good one when the lighting's proper. All right, let's get back here. These are some of the creatures we see from our deck or backyard. Uh, here's a red-tailed hawk. And I'll have to... I, is, that's up our driveway, Cheryl. Is it this hawk? I forget where he was. I don't know. You can, okay. Anyway, that's a red-tailed hawk taken, I think, from my kitchen. It zoomed in. The way you've composed that is beautiful. Well, a lot of it is computer cropping. Blow it up, do a crop. So that's the rule of thirds. If you can follow that to get good composition. You put your... The rule of thirds, you have a matrix, and you put your things of interest at those points on the right or the left, so that you don't, you don't want him in the middle. So the rule of thirds says put him over here on this one third line, and if once in a while you're stuck, you put him in the middle, because that's where he is. So well, this you is, have a third for the ground, a third for the animal, and a third for the forest of all. Yeah. What'd you say? <laughs> that way. Yeah. Getting it that way instead of that way. I suppose. <laughs> but the face is about. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Anyway, that's a guy up in the uh, driveway. Wow. You look, 
Shirley says, photo op, photo op. <laughs> Grab the camera and I find it. And we're lucky. I was lucky to get this guy. So that's a deal. You can have him. Yeah. <laughs> and here is one of our favorite characters, Harry the Heron. I think he is not one heron, but maybe many. But to us, he's Harry. And he shows up quite often out in the river. And sometimes I can get a good picture like this one. Most of the time I can't. You, you know it's a heron, but uh, not quite like that. When do they leave? Do they ever? They the, I don't believe they leave. Lot. I don't believe they leave. I think they're around all. They, uh, they have their nests over in Concord by White's Pond. <laughs> you know, White's Pond, and that's I, where I, they... I saw one in, uh, in Concord. Yeah. Uh, on the South uh, Concord yeah. River. Yeah, yeah, right over there. Yes. Yeah. And there were two, actually. I, I, I was surprised. Oh, many, many, many. In the mating season, there'll be a Amazing. lot. And you can see the nests and you see the babies in there, too. So that's Harry. And here he is again. But this is a strange thing. It happened by me trying to capture a still picture from a video. And every once, most of the time it works. But every once in a while, the computer follows up. And I get two or three yeah. frames yeah. instead of one. And sometimes I like it. Yeah. So that's, that's the story behind this guy. All righty. <laughs> Move, moving right along here. I'm going to unzoom here. And I'll do a, shall I do a selfie? No. <laughs> All right. I'll turn, you can do a selfie. I'll turn my back to the audience. Is a, you're familiar with the Canada geese. Many people think that they're bad. They poop all over the place and ain't it awful. They do. But the poop is not bad stuff. I mean, you know, try, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And, but Shirley and I, uh, I, I don't know when they started holding over. I always wanted to. Good. <laughs> You're gorgeous, Harold. The haircut is wonderful. Well, I got it this morning. I know it. I saw you coming That's out right. of the barber shop. <laughs> she was across the street. Anyway, you'll have to look at this closer. There's a gang of flying Canada geese here in the sunset. I like it very much. Uh, we've watched the geese raise their families. See, they, they're all together in a flock now. But during mating season, they pair off. And they may have... Two babies, three, or 13 mm -hmm. on one occasion. And wow. we can see these guys. We walk down to the pond, there they are, the, the father guarding them, the mother with the kids and the little babies there. And we can see them as they grow, and then they coalesce into a flock come September, <coughs> August, or so. And, and when they fly over, you, You hear that call, you know, I can't do it. That's the good. comes up in the back of the head. Yeah. yeah. We love them. Okay. And here is our favorite cardinal, Big Red. He dominates the feeder. He's the boss. He owns a bird feeder. He'll allow other birds to come. And once in a while, the, black, the grackle comes. And that's a... That's a good. <laughs> because the grackle can scare him away, but he'll come back. So that's Harry. And again, I've only taken six or 7,000 pictures of him to get a good one. OK, sailing along here, we're now up. I love this close-up. Come on in. Who that? Sorry. Come on in here. Hi. Hi, how are you? I hear you're having a reception. Yeah, we're talking about pictures in here. Yeah, Harold, how do you make this zoom bigger so I can actually not take what a picture of the door all the time? Oh, you mean zoom in? Yeah, that's... Well, it depends how far you want to go. Well, I'm going to go half over there. Yeah, but that's I mean... That's good? You like close? that? Good. Oh, boy, I hope he edits this stuff. All right. <laughs> can't get good help anymore. I know. <laughs> <laughs> you're going to. All right, here we are now. The bridge I described, Lee's Bridge. Route 117. What would, what's the name of that animal? <laughs> what is that? Joe. Close enough. Close enough. It's a hope. That's the fox that 
we see very, very rarely. But what did you say the name was? He was Joe the Fox. Silly. Right. Freddie, we don't have a Fox name because there are several different ones. But it's interesting, I think the den or the fox, fox den or nest, is in uh, Fair Pond Village. Yeah. And the fox makes the whole round yeah. every morning. Yeah. Down the trail, down the west, back up, over near you and then back. The den is right behind Betty and Harold Smith's yeah. Yeah. unit. Yeah, that's the den, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, right. And uh, this, we have different ones, that's fairly young. And every once in a while, they'll come down our driveway as part of its route, heading for the bird feeder, <laughs> as you might well imagine. And sometimes I can get a good picture of them. This guy pretty good. But a couple of minutes later, he had a squirrel in his mouth. And it's a great picture, but it's not quite in keeping with our love <laughs> I didn't show you that one. You can have the squirrels, too. And these guys, that's... One scene across the river. They're actually in Concord, and I'm in Lincoln, taking pictures of that. <laughs> and they show up once in a while. Haven't seen any in quite a while, but they're there. That was just a couple weeks ago. That's fairly new. Yeah, yeah. But I mean, not every day. And they come, they get over on our side, they go up people's backyards and they eat the flowers. We don't particularly <laughs> like that aspect. So the deer are pretty at a distance. Yeah, like that, that guy was pretty close, that deer, top of the driveway. All right, and then one of my favorites, the swans. Yeah, the Uncle Ferrer's lake, lake, I saw them. Yeah. The Ferrer pond. Yeah, yeah, that's where these guys were. There's a pair of swans that uh, habituate the east end behind the Winchells. And they breed and have babies, and if you're lucky, you can get a view of them once a year. And there are other swans that come in, and they stay the day, and then they, they leave. All right, that's a taste of nature. Questions? Oh, the, oh, we have other pictures. Wait, yeah. I didn't finish. Thank you. Carol, could I ask a question about the swans? Sure. Uh, Several years ago, I remember hearing here the swans were not there, yeah. and then they got them there. Yeah. They were very serious about yeah. serious about how they got there. Yeah. You know, you have a favorite one? Or? No, don't know them as individuals. They're pretty from a distance, up close. They are mean. Yeah, I, I mean there were no swans at all, and then then all of a sudden there were swans. It's like beavers. There yeah, no beavers. Yeah, yeah, and they're there. Yeah, yeah. and I haven't been able to get a picture of the beavers. They're a lot harder. <laughs> Carol, the two teenagers, though, I never knew what happened. They were babies, and they became teenagers. It took about a year to become white. Yeah. And now I can't tell if the babies of the teenagers grow up, or the parent. What happens? Well, usually, well, I think the way it goes is they keep the new ones, and from a year ago, they might have a son who's hanging around. They drive him out. So you, you'll have the two generations for a brief time, yeah. and you'll have just the parents and the children. They don't, but those children have to grow and leave. Oh, well, they leave, because we see two now, and I don't know if they're the teenagers growing up, or if they're the parents. I don't know. The, the don't teenagers know. have gone? Probably, or the, or the parents may have gone. No. Okay. You don't know. Okay. Well, the, the parents want to kick out the kids, and they have to go elsewhere. This may be the elsewhere for some other pair. Um, are the foxes you see well fed? No, sometimes they are. Sometimes they're mange, not too good looking. We had one scraggly with pieces of fur missing. Yeah, I, I saw one the same jacket yeah. look. And, and what about, the yeah. um, I used to see foxes that you could see their ribs, they were really skinny. Yeah. 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 Do you see that now? Not lately. Well, I don't see any lately, lately, but the ones we see are usually pretty good because of our bird feeding. So <laughs> 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 just like the hawk, that hawk. Eat you know. the birds. That's right. That's the whole idea. I guess. In fact, this morning, Shirley says, it's a hawk, it's a hawk. Too late. <laughs> All right. Back here. Here is one of my favorites. This 
picture of a jazz band. That, if you look closely, it looks like a French Impressionist painting because it's blurry, and yet you can you can see it just like a Monet. Yeah. And that's another one of those foibles of the computer. And I'm extracting <laughs> it from a video, and I get several frames of, as one. And I looked at it, and I think, yeah, that's great. That's better than the picture. The picture, you can see the guys clearly. Yeah. Who needs that? They're much better than that. Uh, there's no man abstractions. Okay, and here's a shot I like. This is a a turtle jumping off a log into Farrah Pond, but I happened to catch him when he had all four feet off the ground. Uh, <laughs> you love that. So there you have it. And my secret is take jillions of pictures every once in a while. Wow. You've done good, Harold. Thank you. Yeah.